I want to share my experience with you. So I don't have any feeling for that. I will manage my remote system manipulation techniques for the mass for the process. For I will be this. So as far as my way of practice is concerned, as the Sudha and Karaga taught us treatment, as they started their treatment with them. So I consider almost all cases, all the issues will be having a Ama of that first state. So I used to start with Gagar and Vajra for back home diseases. Especially in the past one day to this. Along with when we are living, usually I am not giving that much of traps. Today I ask after the door, you are going to that which I have to drink. Every day when you are going to Gagar and Vajra, we should give hair and the and as my own brother was there on a daily, we should not allow to aggravate with that. Because daily we are killing the body. If we are not giving, we will get a patient who will get the feeling of badness. Bad will be there. So better to do that and not get that airways have been a good effect. To clear the joints, like an elephant before a big forest. If you are taking an elephant, before a big forest, it will clear its own way. It finds its own way. Likewise, if all the, the mass of the other is is for the I will give you the thing like that. The other day, the other is almost like an arthrosis. So, if you are given this, it will clean the, clear the joints. Then it will be used to give Sreyavan and Vaman. Many people, many doctors are preferring the dead, but I feel that Vamana is a better choice for this one because if you are taking an x ray for it, okay, the first one level of space you will find reduction of intervalar space, beating your spine and open to lot of So if you are giving vomiting, once in a while you might have experienced the vomit vomana self due to some intention. You can find that there we are at intrinsic force to extend the uh, stretching. There will be a stretching force to be there. So it will reduce the nerve compression. That's why I explained not only that I have been treating for the patients about the medium for more than 20 years. But I found this is more effective than this. Then I have been used to do Sneha Along with Sneha Vaan, we can do this. If the patient is osteopoverty, we can do some Adhikta Adhikta. If the patient is anemic, Kalyana Adhikta. If the patient is having some disease in the pelvic cavity, like renal or uterine disease, it would be better to prefer Sukumar Adhikta. Likewise, we have, we can choose the drugs. Then, uh, we, we are doing Vamana, then, Dr. Thomas Vedra, Maitha Namasri, please chill on the treatment we are doing. Even still, the pain, the pain, the pain persists. We do still do Sringa Retta Moksha. Sringa. If the numbness is there, we will do Siragis in the chicken. Then uh, our manipulation of techniques we are having, we are, I want to put the most patient here to you. So it will be much much better be shared for the patient. What did all of you consider surgery for this one? For back pain. But if you are going to it, you see the internet. Backbone.com, back pain road. You will find surgery is a one person solution. And the most of the automatic surgeries enjoy the breathing bed rest on traction. 24 hours bed rest will take your three person muscle power. It is not spread out from ivory schools. Automatic association of pain. 
less also. So there is a chance for 98% of the backbone disease can be cleared by our system. 98%. Only chance is two per index. Of course, we have to exclude tuberculosis, spine, malignancy, etc. We have to avoid. Otherwise, we can cure it. That is why experience and either all these treatments are in the main basis of after all these treatments you can go for sugar and moksha or fidelity. I think uh, you can show an opportunity for that, that the moksha. Uh, that will be very useful for you also. First comes Lebjaloka. Leeches are applied in localized lesions, elevated like a Granthi and Paitika Vigaras. To detoxify the leech, have a turmeric water bath and then fresh water. Clean and rub the area with bhasma or dry cow dung. Then apply leeches to the area. If necessary, drop a drop of blood or make a pinprick on the expected area. When it begins to suck blood, it elevates its head. While sucking blood, cover the leech with a thin wet cotton. Usually it detaches itself after fulfilling its capacity. If pain or itching etc. in between. Assume that leech began to suck pure blood. Then sprinkle turmeric powder onto its head. Clean the sugdi area with triphalic kwatha and apply robana daila. In case of profuse bleeding, apply tight wet bandage. Leeches are washed in turmeric water and screws to omit blood. And keep it fresh water so that it can be used after one week. If allergy manifests, apply vilvadi guliga externally. Next comes Sringam, done for Vada Vigaras. Clean the area with hot swab. Fomentation and local massage is to be done. Locate maximum tender area. Place Sringam over that area and create vacuum with a suction or vacuum pump to make its outline clear. Make some pricks within the marking with surgical or ordinary blade, which is not too deep and superficial. Again place the syngum on the same marking. Create vacuum as before. Blood is collected inside the syngum and can be seen with the illuminated light on the other side of the syndrome. Clean and dress the area. To appreciate the blood collection, we can either use a breast pump or a funnel. That comes Khadam and Alabu, mainly for Kapha Dosha. Press the Khada towards the body to mark out the outer border. Pricks are made within the markings. Lit a piece of camphor and put inside the Khada. Carefully keep the mouth of Khada intact with the body without burn. Blood is gradually collected inside. After removing, clean and dress. To appreciate the blood collection, it can be done with any transparent materials also, such as a transparent doom, in which vacuum is created with a vacuum bath instead of fire. Then it is almost similar to Sringa procedure, but more convenient. Next is most easy technique Prachana. It is intended for localized deletions.
fomentation is done in and around the area. Proximal block is made with creep bandage. Then clean the area. Bricks are made with surgical or ordinary blade which is not too deep and it should be from below and side to side and upwards to avoid over pricks. To promote further braiding, wipe the blood every now and then with a fine thin wiper like tongue cleaner. When required amount of blood is drained, proximal block is removed. Clean and dress the area with jatya di khurda or wet bandage if needed. Next, the most effective Siravetha, indicated when the disease is pertaining to the whole body, like psoriasis, polyarthritis, etc. Form in the area and around where Siravetha is to be performed. Clean the area and the proximal block is made with creep bandage. Locate the most elevated tensed vein. Place the tip of the glass piece for surgical bed on the vein parallel to it. Exert a trigger force on the blade. Blood will jet out like a fountain stream. Blood is collected. If needed, wipe the blood to promote bleeding. If sufficient blood is collected, release the proximal block. Clean and dress. If hematoma present, better to have a wet bandage. Siraveda is also done with Kalpo inset, number 16 or 18. and then cut off the plastic tube to facilitate fine pumping. I hope I have shared what I know. Any doubt regarding this you can ask. Thank you. Any doubt means please you can ask who the third is there to clarify the thing. Excuse me sir. Uh, I am having small doubt about the yeah. rectum optional. Uh, in pregnancy actually I have clearly mentioned the site of rectum optional. But in, if you consider like a cervical spine disease, especially in lumbar region, what area you are going to choose? For the rectum mokshana, whether the tender, tender part or any other particular area we are going to choose for the rectum mokshana. Usually Acharya has mentioned a particular site for the rectum rakt mokshana. No, rectum mokshana when, uh, after all the, our treatments, no, if the pain is persisting, it will be localized and the maximum tender point you have to select. Okay, got it? Uh, sir, a uh, few of the cases like uh, uh, Acharya has now mentioned opposite uh, part of the body when the uh, uh, disease is occurred in the spleen and other things they have mentioned the uh, rectum motion has to be done on the opposite uh, arm so in such a condition uh, is there any relevancy in choosing the uh, spot of the uh, place for the rectum motion the selection of spot uh, rectum motion uh, what criteria we are going to choose 
Because Achara has not clearly mentioned some of the other words for spleen and other reasons. And if any pathologist has occurred in the spleen, they have mentioned the right cubital fossa. In such a way, in uh, uh, this condition, lumbar spleen, even in Rudrasi also they have mentioned the site of the rectum oxygen. How we are going to select the spondylosis? After all our treatment, we consume that. If the pain is persisting, we assume that the disease is pertaining from the rectal duxti. And hence the blood is let out. Isn't it? We are not changing the all blood. We are changing because body is having a range to accept toxicity. When it exceeds, disease manifests. No? So when we are letting out one pasta of blood, we are bringing back to the tolerance level. That is why the disease is cured, or pain is getting less. Okay. So after all our treatment, we have to choose the maximum tender point. It will be located somewhere in the lumbar region. Then that point we have to locate for the tamuksha. Sindha you can do, Januda you can do, same purpose. I think one doctor is here working. She had she had back pain only after general rectal motion. She got the cure. She was working. I think she is in EU now. Jaluda also you can apply. Okay. Sunday is a big pain too. We have to make tricks, but it is instantly we can do that soon. Jaluda if you are applying, we have to spare more than one hour. So, if there is numbness huh, on the radiating numbness or uh, aching on the limb, better you go for a Siravid. Siravid always would be, I used to advise to the lower leg because heart pumps, blood reaches the whole on every part of the body. With, uh, blood which reaches the head, it will come down huh, due to force of gravity. But from the leg, after 50 or 60, the muscular contraction will be less. So there will be always chance for stagnated carbonized blood in the lower limb, always. So once in a while, if you are donating blood, better you do from the leg. That's my, my advice is that. Let her donate blood from the legs. Yeah, why not? So in lumbago sciatica, Pashni Daham Prasasya De Gridrasyam, we will say no, sir. Pardon? Gridrasi coexisting with lumbago, if you are treating Pashni Daham is advised. Yeah. Then can you give the idea how it will be effective all on a sudden? Definitely it will be effective. I think uh, first you do Rekta Moksha, then you go for Rekta Varma. Rekta Varma is not that much pleasing. No? <laughs> do the Rekta Moksha, then you do. If it is not persisting, uh, if you, again if the pain is persisting, you can go for the clear. No problem. Agnarma is also like that. The most tender point we have to select. Yeah. Sir, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. And do it with the even the chalk seeds. The body or body in it, put it in the other one. I think I have done that. I have done that. I have done that. I have done that.
it was having a very heaviness and uh, uncontrollable uh, hypertension. According to the health, whatever the other has said, you should not do. But we can do if the patient is healthy enough and patient's condition needs it. That's freedom is given by our other day. Okay, this is your decision. Rikshet Balanja in the rest of the day, Tadrik Shidam Yachim Yon, and the is there so any the patient is healthy enough you can put up. Is there any complication while doing the study? So far, no complication is found. Only thing you should see whether the patient is anemic or not. If the patient is healthy, you can put up. No problem. Only some patient will be having some pain. One leads for one patient. We are looking for in this. One leads. Uh, because that is not advisable to say no. One leech is like a That is not the problem. You should kill the leech after doing that. That is a uh, modern concept regarding the, the due to the chance of getting the child. Yes, sir. My leech is also personally to be a good fish. No, we have to just refer to a good fish for each. For each. I will give you one. You will get it from Karnada to be a good fish for each. Okay. Hmm? Still, we are not clear how much pain, how much blood we should let. Uh, is it a case of lumus spotless? Then how much? Uh, what is? If it is case of lumus spotless, is the how much? Uh, yes, sir. No, you cannot uh, let out that much blood from there because the maximum you can get uh, hundred or one hundred and uh, fifty. 150 ml maximum you can let out from there. Because it is not a that much the major vessels are not there, no? So the calculation venue should be let out. So you can maximum this much. Yes. Only Syrian only you can let out the one plus the outlet. Nothing more? So you have mentioned that the Zerahan you can do it. No, my idea is to which diseases are all we can do this uh, string gum along the So you can do it when we have a very hard shoulder, very hard pain, back pain. If some man will be coming from the police station, the police station will be hitting like this. That day, occasionally, if the pain is not removed, you can do this. So that will be having a better result. Sir, 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 no, all Dhritta Moksha is, Dhritta Moksha is not an independent treatment. After all other treatments, then only see those the Sitsa Gutshadi treatments, Dhritta Moksha is at least. Of course, we can do in some uh, emergency conditions that are good pain of back. Something you can do it, but you all get a better result. Better to go for the same Yeah, you are of course. See, you can do it also. No problem. Anyhow, wherever pain is, if you are getting your blood from there, you will get a reduction of pain. At all, you can pain. Even cancer patients also we are using. In Arkansas disease, abdominal, some growth will be there. If you are applying the yoga over that, the size of the tumor will be coming down as well as the pain will be reduced. What about leukemia 
with you mean? I have not written to you mean. But in, in my opinion, for the premium, our Panduji dosa will help very much. It's my consultation, I am not getting. So we have uh, missed out on your diagnosis of lumbar spondylosis mm -hmm. and predominantly we are seeing the promotion of changes that we are doing. So we would like to first understand which dosha you are considering while doing the rectal promotion because we have not had your presentation on diagnosis. Lumbar spondylosis, it is Actually, what is happening, the patient will be having pain, donated by one, isn't it? Hmm? Then the seat of Vada is asti. Then also I am the point. Okay. Then what, uh, with this point of what he can, he, uh, he is losing his capacity to move. That also carried out by Vada. Isn't it? So, the treatment always will be at this point. What about what is and your mind? Only thing when you are uh, usually uh, many topics are addressing 10 days treatment. It is not like that. Condolence is happening only after 30s. 30 days after 45 like that, no? This is a little this is not a major disease. This is like a, when people are getting aged, grain of hair, no? falling of teeth, like that. This is a degeneration. This is a swabhavya so we have to consider it. Only thing we have to impart health to the body. Our body management treatment, it will uh, detoxify the body as well as it will enlist the health of the body. No, no, no. Dr. Mosha, if uh, after all the panjavarmas, you, know, you might have known, no, no, all the panjavarmas, if the disease is pertaining, if the pain is pertaining, persisting, we consider it, we are assuming it that the, result, the disease is because of the rectal dusti. Okay. Then we are uh, deciding to let out blood. Okay. Actually, rectamasha is not to be done before any other treatment. All the, after all, Panjarma, Chida, Usna, Siddha, Ruchadi, Chigusa we are having. After all this, if the you know, disease is persisting, persisting then only Rektamacha is advised. Okay. In some diseases like Dushtavrana, we can do Jaloga because it will facilitate blood supply locally. You have seen one ulcer there, no? They have three times they have grafted. Then also it did not heal. With our, this treatment, she got treatment. Of course, we have given some Gulgulu Banjala, so medicines we have given. And also, sir, when you mentioned about Rakta Mokshana, but then when I asked for diagnosis, you did say about a Vata Pradhana, but then there was also a mention that you, instead of saying Vasti, you insisted on Vamana. So we didn't have that clear concept of um, putting Vamana before Vasti. Did you had any vomiting once? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yes. Then you will feel that your all the muscles will be stretching upwards, no? Yes. Isn't it? Hmm? It is an intrinsic force. Because all spondylosis will be causing root compression, now root compression. Isn't it? If it is stretching upward, that means it may relax. Compression may relax. Isn't it? It is an intrinsic force, it is not harm to the body. Only thing you have to consider the heart state, esophageal varices. If the esophageal varices is there, you should not go for a vamana. I had a case once, and he had a esophageal tear and he has undergone uh, major surgery. Uh, uh, then uh, he put a case in his knee, the court, uh, consumer court suspended the case, dismissed. Because I have not made any mistake, 
because it is an accident. The in between the uh, accident may come now. Anything more? One more question I have. Uh, you have said Vamana can be conducted in uh, this case, in the cerebral spinal disease. Yeah. Uh, what's the relevancy of selecting Vamana? Only for the sake of stretching the back means we can put the cervical traction. What's the role of uh, Vamana in this case? We can put the cervical traction. Pardon? Traction, cervical traction, we can Forward. put the belt and we can put the weight. For lumbar spondyl, uh, spondylosis, cervical traction is not necessary. Lumbar traction is necessary. Is no, you, you, are, you are talking, you are, you are, uh, you are telling yeah. about the uh, stretching action of the uh, muscles and the and Cervical also, traction so. also, you can give for cervical spondylosis. Yeah, you can put either uh, cervical or lumbar. Any traction can be put. What's the role of Vamana in this case? Sir? Vamana. You see, when, when the patient is getting spondylosis after the 40 or 45 years old, that means it is a Dirkhagala and Bandhu disease. All the Dirkhagala and Bandhu disease should be treated after Shodhana. Shodhana means Vamana and Virajana. For Vamana, you have to go for a Srinayavan. Isn't it? Isn't Only it? Vamana is needed, yeah, yeah. no other, other pancreas is that, not needed. According to the condition of the patient or the size of the patient, you have to decide. Isn't it? She can be given Vidarya the Khridam. But an obese patient should not be given any Khridam. Thaila is better choice. Stula and Ankarsana Isn't it? Like you have to choose. If the patient is first year already, you have to select the rhythm. I told you, no? No, sir. I am uh, again selecting the karma, pan pancha karma, vamana, mm -hmm. in this case. Because it's the Vata Pradhana Vadi, if any anubandha is there, any avrutta lakshanas are seen in the patients, we can go for any ruksha sweater like uh, what you have mentioned for Uttartana and other things. But the in vamana, conducting vamana in this case, that's what I wanted to clarify. I, I, I cleared, no, but I know. I cleared that because with Vamana, the root compression will be coming less. Otherwise, you try once Vamana. Have you experienced Vamana? No? No, after Srehavana and Vamana, it will be mostly, I think, oh, you know, ambulated patient who is coming to the our pe in hospital, after five days, Nayamana, patient began to get up. Then they began to live. That much result is there. I never say, which is not, I told you, no, leukemia. I don't have any experience. But in this case, I am having experience for the last 20 or 25 years. I am sharing it to you. You just try it, no? Hmm. My phone number you will get anywhere you call it, I will be there for your assistance, okay? First of all, we have to think about the indication. Shidoshna Sritrusha de Simmix Samyak Siddhana Nasityanti Tedu Tekta Pragovaja. That means only after we are not getting a result by Shidoshna, that's a Samanya Chikils, a conservative management, we are not getting a desired effect. Then we are thinking it may be something with the blood. Then we are letting out the blood. In this condition, why, what is the benefit? What are the benefits occurring by uh, letting out of blood? First of all, it is not the amount of the blood. It is the procedural effect. The body is response to the rectum mocha. That is the benefit. That, by that only that is uh, clarified in the different, uh, categorized into different parts. That is Gridhidam Jalajanma V like that. Eka Deshasthya Prachyani Sarvanga Vyabhidu Siravhida. We are mentioning because of the potency, the effect of that thing only. What is the effect first we are getting? Then only we are getting a rectamotra itself. Yes. You think about a rectamotra, then a frightening, the patient will be frightened. What is it? That, that means they are at, uh, their heat stock proteins can be stimulated. We can stimulate the heat stock proteins. That's why in Siraveda, in systemic disorders, wherever, uh, when the Ajaryas is Avedya Siras and said, that is a complication can occur. Because the, that's why 98 Avedya Siras like that, uh, Vedana Sira sites and some particular points, 
that we have to uh, re-establish what is the important, the specificity of that particular point. One of my thinking is that it may stimulate your immune system. By rectum mosha, the immunity is altering. That we have done practically this uh, with the modern technologies. The heat stock proteins can be activated, particularly in rectum mosha, HSP70 is activated. There is in the body, it is in activated state. That will be activated. That will be more still activated. There is no procedure is set like that. If you are doing such things, recurrence will not be there. That is because once your immunity is raised and you are treating with the uh, uh, other medications and your immunity is raised, definitely the disease cannot be recurrent, uh, is not possible. That is why that is the role of the and that's why only to uh, avoid the complication, the rectum mosha amount and all timing is told. Sartha Trayo, the Savala Prasta Mahon, the mission, that is what he's told, the 375 ml is the maximum time. That is considering the conditions of the patient. The procedure effect is different. And the, that is the interval also, you think. Siddhartha, <coughs> it is six months it is told. That means to acquire the new blood up to that time, it, it will be there. So, uh, that, that timings are related like that. Once in three days, you can go for a, 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 what is Jaluga Vajarana. And what's, what is Jaluga Vajarana? Well, maximum 10 ml or something you will get. It is not the amount of uh, blood we are uh, taking out, but because of the procedural effects. That's why Jaluga plus having an act, uh, there are more than 100 and uh, eight chemicals are acting at the plastic, particularly of iridin and uh, some anti things are there. That we then again a question can come. It is taking out the blood. The how we can inject this chemical into that uh, wound site by the loga. But the response of the other, once it is sucking in the blood, the other things also go because it has to two process. Why to it is suck, uh, sucking? The other opposite movement also should be there. So there is, can be injection of this material also in the possible in the side. That is why all the procedures should be uh, not the amount on site. Site, of course, we have to find it what, what Ajarias, why Ajarias are told in the particle. I, in my view, in my prediction, it is the most significant stimulating areas. Just like Marma. Now the, we cannot... Uh, uh, objectively, we cannot say this is marma. We cannot say, because it is the, the configuration we are saying also, we cannot say this particular marma is this, 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 because while application of that uh, pressure, that means noisy sector, that threshold level, depends upon the threshold level, pain can be exaggerated and decreased, and individual also. So, like that, this area's important significant specificity, we have to find out with the newer methodologies and all. Is there any queries about rectum mosha further? And I told that about Vamana to her. Because the Vamana also it is a procedure. Once we have while doing Vamana in this backache and all, we have to make a clean slate of our minds. Because always all the students will be having a mind. Vamana is a kapha predominant condition only. Vamana is indicated. Vita for, uh, Virajana is for Vita and Vasti for Vada disorder. We have to think it is not Kevala, uh, a disease may not be possible with Kevala, one dosha predominance. Even if it is there, there are associated things also will be there. Likewise, Vamana can be done, uh, surely his experience is told, that we get stretching of the, that counter stretching. By the way, we leave that also, if you are, uh, as one of the, uh, uh, pointed out that if you realize traction can be traction is a mechanical one if you are trying to traction the muscles maximum ligaments plus muscles may be stretched while vamana because of the process there a milieu interior is changing and even the cleansing property of that kapha the skin from the sandhis so the entire procedure plus the added effect of the stretching there is a counter effect the stretching is a counter effect Plus that one, Vamana is eliminating the Kapadosha predominantly. The Sandhi is the site of the uh, disorder. So Kapha will definitely, Kapha will be a strong associator of this backaches.
Though we are thinking it is a vada is a predominant cause of uh, then all the uh, hot application and things has to be pacify this uh, backaches. It is not happening so. So that will be associated because of this associated kapadosha. Vamana can only one in Kadigraha, the one reference is there. Vamana reference is there. In Vanajari is referred. But uh, there is normally it is not practicing. That's why we are we are having a concept. Mis actually, we, it is a misconcept. Some certain diseases should not be, Vamana should not be, Virajana should not be done, the Vasti should not be done. That's why even in the Vastis, I, have, I was in my paper, I was trying to establish with objective parameters. Because nowadays each and everyone will, will believe after seeing only. So objective parameters, this also can be tried and we can make it uh, correctly. This Mankubas, because I know him personally and he has having so much experience, he has given uh, so many Vamanagarmas and he got uh, results. Based on that result, we have to make the theories. That means from the clinics to, to the theory, we have to go. Clinical experience we are getting, we have to make it a theoretical aspect how to correct it. I'll tell you what uh, the basic question, and even sir, I wanted to ask sir also. When the questions were not raised, it was um, easily blamed on the audience that it is like a normal BMS class. Okay. Now, as a BMS student, I would like to say that what we expect is a clear Ayurvedic perception. Each one speaking on lumbosidulosis and taking only structure under consideration. But when we speak about Ayurveda, we've got a lot of philosophical background behind it, and then it intervenes with our actions, which intervenes with our food habits and our lifestyle, and then a particular vitiation of the dosha happens, which goes and lodges somewhere in a structure. So when we have only this allopathy view of seeing a structure and say, oh, lumbar spondylosis, katigraha, do opposite vamana or do something, we don't get a clear picture. Hence, I think most of the audience require. So if we get a clear diagnostic view, we can understand treatment better. And then the questions will be nice and the tadvadhyaya will happen nicely. What is the... Uh I, as I mentioned earlier, there is a few descriptions about this backache and all in our text. So whatever getting from the other uh, systems, we are incorporating into Ayurveda and up to the diagnosis stage we may knowingly or unknowingly following the modern uh, system and terminologies. That's why here also became lumbar spondylosis. We never make it as a kadigraha. Or we never make it because there is no such clear uh, uh, descriptions in Ayurveda. So while taking out that part, up to the diagnosis part we are taking, and while treating the patients, we have assessing the doshas. That's why in my paper it was their the Gruta season, Vada and Vada Katha, that even the symptoms. And, the, and uh, that I told, that's even in the disc, uh, degeneration. The predominance of Pada state is there, predominance of Pitta state is there, predominance of capacity it is there. That we have to assess it one by one. And the procedure, we cannot say uh, in totality the procedure is uh, anti kapha anti vada and because what is the difference? Because if that is individual patient will be having difference of thing. If you are considering again total Ayurveda, the prakriti of the patient is one of the factor to decide the management protocol. Second one is the, uh, what is the, the lifestyle of the patient will be another factor. Then uh, thirdly, the in, uh, build of the patient, whether the strong build or obese or another thing, that again take a factor. There is a highly individualized therapies are there. Now. So generalized, while saying it generalized, there are some lacks will be, okay. that is what is happening, what she, she asked, clear cut definitions we cannot make in Ayurveda. If the textile reference was there, definitely we can say this is such, this is this compartment, this is another compartment, this is Here, that adopting the modern terminologies, adopting the investigation techniques and saying it into Ayurveda, we, we consider it as a Kadigraha. So, we have to be compelled to term it simple as Kadigraha. 
it may, may not be kadigraha it because kadigraha is only a symptom wherever your movement is restricted we can say it is kadigraha so that is that word is a general word so coming in the, that is why we are saying the vaidharana vasthi as i told it it is in the initial state in the intermediate conditions it will be useful we are making such uh, things we are clarifying for the coming generations we are doing the uh, uh, i am having a one book of love back what you published that is why we are specifying the treatments where patra podala can be done patra podala can be done if it is a vada kapha predominance is there that means how we will assess vada kapha predominance if the selling tenderness of selling is there plus pain is there we can think it is a vata kapha predominance then you can go for a sneha seda that is a rucha seda that is why it will be better for and the information is much more there then you can go for a jambira benda seda likewise we are uh, we are compartmentalizing the treatment modalities here also again we can some alteration should be there because that considering the individual uh, prakriti and other things again have some changes but basically like these things i can make make like this where patra bodla seda where 